Cool Girls, welcome back to my group mythology video and this is all about Hermes. For those of you that have just joined, this is your first video. Um, so here on my channel we talk about books, we talk about reviews, tags, anything to do with books. We're also talking about Greek mythology. So this video is all about Hermes. Um, I've got a link below where you can check out my other ones. And I basically just talk about the Greek gods and the goddesses and monsters and myths and legends and whatnot. And we're just working our way through them until we get to the end, I guess. Um, there are so many Greek gods and goddesses out there. Some of them are kind of going to be combined into the videos. So nymphs, for example, will all be together. Because although there are a few that have got lots of different stories and lots of different gods that are associated with them, some of them are just a small part of Greek mythology, whereas some have a bigger world and a picture towards them. Some don't really have stories, some just have information about them like being parents of, of those or whatever they don't have a lot about them so I would be wasting a lot more time if I just did a video for every single one of them so I'm kind of putting them as many as I can together um the ones that have a bigger story and that are a bit more important are having their own videos like today with Hermes so that's just a little introduction just to let you know um and let's crack on so Hermes who is Hermes let's start with that so Hermes is a Greek god of Mount Olympus and he is one of the 13 Olympians his father is is Zeus and in some stories his mother is Hera however the story that we're going for today is his mother was actually the daughter of Atlas and Atlas just a quick little thing about him which we'll get to eventually when we do a story is he is the one who would hold the world and that was a punishment that he had and that is why we call the globe Earth Atlas because he holds up Atlas I don't know where he's standing when he's doing this but he's holding the earth is known as the god of messenger and he is a messenger for hades for sick particularly and um, so he would help with messages through the dead and so on but he's also known as the god of flocks shepherds and travelers so he's got many different roles and many different things he's also seen as a god of mischief and um he's a bit naughty um but then he got the role as being a messenger for hades and the underworld and he kind of started to not be so mischievous and naughty how was he created how was he born so zeus found my and my love to her in a cave in the mountains in a place called a Salim and there she then birthed Hermes. Um, Hermes was a baby she wrapped him up in blankets and looked after him in the mountains. One day while they were asleep he snuck off into a field with flocks of cattle and sheep and so on and they were his half-brother Apollo who is the son of Zeus um, and he basically created the tortoise shell from the cattle, I don't know how, but he managed to do it. A little bit like Jack Sparrow, creating a raft and then sailing away from the island that he was stranded on. So he created something. Apollo was like, what the hell have you done? Oh my God, no one believed him. And in the end, it turned out that Hermes had done them. And then that's how, kind of how he became sort of a god of flocks and sheep and cattle and stuff like that. So, um yeah when he was a baby he was actually very smart and very clever and quite a lot of the gods and goddesses when they were children was just as equally as smart and strong as they are when they're adult his roman name is mercury like the planet and as we know from my previous videos the romans have the same gods as the greeks they just have different names so zeus would be jupiter and in this case hermes is mercury He's also known as a dream god and quite a lot of the greeks would be very interested in that and worship him for those reasons. He isn't the dream god, but he is known as a dream god. Quite a lot of the gods and goddesses seem to have a lot of different roles. I think what's happened over time is the more gods and goddesses that have been created and so on, they've then kind of taken more control over those roles and become gods and goddesses. Like Hermes has a daughter who became a messenger god as well. Um, maybe he needed help, maybe there was too many messages, the more population went round, the more dead was being seen. I don't know things like that because if you imagine like world wars a lot more people would have died so there would have been a lot more work for the underworld so i believe that that's kind of what's happened and i know there's been a lot of retellings with stories and stuff where someone wants to marry a greek god or someone in the greek world and they have to say stuff like well what are you going to be a god of if i'm going to make you a god and then they have to find their own role so, did hermes have any lovers of course he did every greek god and goddess had lovers he had quite a lot of lovers one of them is aphrodite and together they had, about, they had a child called hermaphrodisos which we spoke about in my aphrodite video which is linked here so together they had their own child and 
the child got caught up with a nymph hand together they emerged together and that is how they became the first intersexual man and woman um so that's quite interesting when i found that out he also was a lover too for stephanie although she was with hades so this would have been before um and he also had a male lover called perseus so not a lot of the greats and gods were just with a man and a man and a woman and a woman they literally it did not matter who they were with they just had many lovers with the children however when i did my research i realized that he had probably over 20 children and some of them are just names they don't actually have a representation for them they don't actually have like a reason behind them like i said at the beginning of the video they don't always have a story so i'm just going to kind of name a couple of them just to give you some names but there are t over 20 that i have looked at and probably even more so we have the one that he had with Aphrodite. that one's done we also have one called angela who became a goddess of messages like i said a lot of the gods would then have another god who had the same kind of role of them although they'd probably be in charge of it they would have other gods and goddesses that were similar to them we also have another one called elias who's the goddess of the elysian mysteries who's daughter of hermes and diarrhea diarrhea also have a lot of children that were nymphs so he would have a child of the nymph that he found and they would have lots of more nymphy children also pan if you've not heard of pan pan was a very interesting character in the greek mythologies foot footed god of the shepherds and shepherdists and he had many human children so he had over 20 human children yeah none of them are uh, majorly interesting in the sense that they didn't create the trojan war or they they didn't battle medusa like Perseus so that would have been weird actually but then you know this is a great gods yeah so famous story what famous story does he have so when he was a baby he obviously wasn't Hera's he was Maya's so as we know Hera hates all of Zeus's children she hates them with a passion and in this case it wasn't any different so obviously she found out she was very angry now Hermes although he was a god of mischief he was very very smart and very clever so he turned around one day and thought, do you know what? I need Hera to be on my side. I cannot have her be my enemy. So he disguised himself as Ares as a baby. And when, when Hera picked him up to look after her baby Ares and breastfeed him and uh, be a mum to him, she realised that he was Hermes and it was too late. She now become his foster mum. So he was very sneaky and he pretended that he was Ares so that he could then be on Hera's side. That's quite smart strange but smart story about Hermes before we end the video was that he had something to do with Pandora so in the story of Pandora which we'll get to in another video she was created by her thesis and before she opened up her box Pandora's box all the gods and goddesses gave her some sort of skill or attribute or something nice like Aphrodite would give her beauty Hermes turned around and gave her gave her an inquisitive mind and a deceitful nature which helped in turn to get her to open the box to unleash hell upon earth so uh yeah he uh was quite mischievous before he became a messenger god so he would have been one to watch out for when you were first around um until he became a messenger god but that doesn't mean his instinct wasn't to be a little bit mischievous but yeah that's the end of my homies video i hope you enjoyed it i know it was quite short um he's quite fun he's quite interesting he had quite a lot of uh, little stories about him there's a lot more to research there's a lot more to find out online if you want to have a look um these are just the main things because i think the video would have been quite long and as we know i'm very bad at pronouncing names <laughs> but i'll see you guys soon for the next video bye